listen here, Egad. I was testing out my audio levels in between recordings. Don't you tell me to hurry up. Anyway, hey everybody, it's Ares and Storm, and welcome back to more Luigi's Mansion 3 in the last episode. We rescued Egad, who had been trapped in a painting here on the second floor. We also caught our first ghost. What? Oh, yeah, the spiders. <laughs> I was wondering what was coming down from the ceiling right there. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're getting started here on our misadventure to rescue our friends for legitimately now. Where it's now for serious business. Also, Egad literally has no caring for the fact that we lost our friends. In this episode, we're going to head up to the next, uh, the next important floor. But first, we need to listen to Egad as we need to stay here and get these things installed. Hello, Luigi. It seems like the installation was a success. Now then, as what that device actually does, well, it extracts map data from the floors, about the floors from the elevator. It, it, then it takes all, all that data and displays it on the monitor. Isn't that great? Hey, why don't you take those elevator buttons you've collected and insert them into the panel? Wow, Egad, I literally wouldn't have thought to do that myself. I think I would have done that first before having to sit here and listen to you talk. Anyway, I like this and I like this little animation here. I do like the fact that it does uh, place the elevator buttons individually into the uh, into the panel in a really nice little fashion. So yeah. Anyway, let's go. Oh, uh, so we have to listen to more Egad. Now you're able to view the map of a new floor. There's another surprise, Luigi. That device links with the virtual boo. The map data is automatically sent to the virtual boy or the virtual boo. I did the virtual boy. <laughs> The map data is automatically set to the virtual boo, so you can view the map anywhere, anytime. If you open the map from the virtual boo menu, you can check out the even more detailed map. Don't forget, don't go forgetting about it. Okay, let me break it down for you, Luigi. The map is super helpful for exploring new floors. While you're exploring the hotel, you should hunt down the elevator buttons. No, Egad, I wouldn't have thought to do that. Those buttons will let you reach new floors right for exploration. Oh, and you might find your friends there. Heh <laughs> heh one more thing before you go, Luigi. We need to test. Uh, we need to do a quick test of the Virtual Boo's communication system. Open the Virtual Boy with Plus and select the EGAD hotline. I'm counting on you, Luigi. He literally thinks that we are incapable of doing this ourselves. Anyway, testing, testing, one, two, three. This is EGAD, resident genius. It might coming through loud and clear. Fantastic! It appears uh, that the Virtual Boo's communication system is working perfectly. That means you can use this to. Contact me anytime you need to. If you feel the need to talk, if you feel the need to talk to me, just do exactly what you did for the test, Luigi. I am able to offer some advice in a tough situation. Oh, you can also check the, out the log using the very same system. Let me know if that's why you're calling, and uh, you'll be able to see your progress. Okay, testing my adventures is fun, but we should get back to work. And speaking of work, I have a job for you. So you're able to take the elevator to floor five now, right? I was actually staying in a room on that floor. There's a briefcase in my room. Could you go fetch it for me, Luigi? My room is my room number is oh blast, what was it? Hey, you've got a map, you'll figure it out. Good luck, Luigi. Try to come back alive. Hehehe. <laughs> yep, he immediately upon making us do one quest, he makes us go and do another. But this one's quite important actually, and it's actually a really cool mechanic. So what do we do best? Well, we actually sit here and wait for the elevator to get us to that floor. And oh boy, is it a quite a wait. No, not really. It is the same way every single time. So at least you don't have to suffer for all eternity having to sit here and wait until you reach a certain floor. Um. So while talking about this, oh, never mind. We're gonna get hit with a cutscene. Never mind. Did I mention that this game looks good? I don't think I have. Anyway, so we can't walk two feet without you guys seeming to need to call us. He tells us that he we need to call him. Anyway, this is a virtual boo. Oh, Luigi, I just remember something important that I neglected to mention. That Poltergeist G00 of yours has a new feature that I'd like to call Suction Shot. It'll work as a weapon for you on your adventures. 
Use Y to fire the rubber plunger you can stick it to onto flat and smooth surfaces. Have you used a uh, puzzle cut G00 to suck up the rope and then press A? You can tug on objects and pull off a powerful slam to break it. You should start by shooting. You should start shooting at it to, at things right away. Practice makes perfect after all. And don't forget to get my briefcase, Luigi. <laughs> Alright, so what he says here is true. You can now stick your plunger to different things and then slam them down. Of course, things like this will get you money, of course. And we we should recognize this far very easily. Why, this is the far that we were on when we were getting chased by King Boo back in the first episode three days ago. Or two days ago. But now, this entire area has been blocked off. And probably because King Boo went on a complete total rampage trying to get us. Anyway, we're going to slam these down with our new suction shot, which is really, really nice. So, we're going to come this way. I don't like you being up there on this floor. Makes me feel makes me feel dumb. Wait, can I not actually suck this up? Oh, there we go. Okay. And we're gonna come through here. And of course, we get another vending machine. And of course, it's gonna give us a lot more money, because that is the entirety of what we need in life: money. Anyway, come over here. Flush that. Wait, I already did. Suction cut. Suction shot that, and then pull it down. A really nice way to get uh, get a good start. Also, more money. If you couldn't tell. I don't know how money got over here, but it kind of did. Anyway, come through here. And... A very ominous room. Um, I see a weird glow here. I'm just going to suction shot this. This is a gold goob! These guys are especially the speedy spirits or the gold ghosts. Or the gold greenies from Dark Moon or Speedy Spirits from Luigi's Mansion 1. These guys will hold a lot of money. You want to do as much damage from Slam as you possibly can. That is the goal for these guys. Charge up your meter as fast as possible. And then completely slam, slam them. Yeah, come on, get a little blow 80. There we go. Nice. And once, uh, upon defeating, they explode into gold. Make sure you do this. It is a nice way to get money. A very nice way to get money. And you see plenty of these guys throughout your adventure. So... Be sure if whenever you see them, you make sure you defeat them. Anyway, so that's literally quite it for anything else. Um, we're into gold, uh, the gold goobs for a very long while, unfortunately. And I don't think they're actually available in the gallery. So, sucks to be us. So anyway, open this, and you get a gem. With that all said and being done, um, there's literally nothing else within this room. Quite literally. There's nothing else available in this room whatsoever besides having this money up here that you can kind of suck off you can get the right spot there we go kind of doing that also gyro controls are a weird thing in this game uh yeah anyway here we go clear more money we have almost four thousand dollars we're not even through the first hour yet i mean we're almost in the first hour but i don't know this is actually my first episode Testing out a new recording format. More or less just re uh, testing how I kind of record my audio for this game. Much less my, my actual uh, commentary. Um, I don't actually know how this will turn out. I, I, I don't know exactly. Because this is the first video that I am recording along this format. But, uh, pfft, I do that. I could have sworn that you could do that. Oh, no, oh, there we go. Yeah, you come over here, shoot that uh, giant devil statue, or uh, Satan statue as I like to call it. He's a gargoyle, but he has a gem in his mouth. I won't be going for every single gem, as I don't think it's initially worth it, like I did mention before. Uh, but you can do that. Anyway, we wouldn't be Luigi if you didn't get bombarded by ghosts. Anyway, we got more goobs here. They are kind of uh, rocking their fashion sense here. Anyway, uh, get him down. Slam him on his friends. Really good method. Anyway, we're not going to be able to get the full uh, super uh, slam here. But he does have one more friend, so let's get him. And also, he kind of is offended that I kind of just uh, try to flash him. Anyway, slam him down, take him out. And that is it. And Luigi is going to do his little victory dance. Or his little victory pose, I suppose. But he still doesn't look uh, all the less very much worth, uh, very scared. But anyway, make sure you do use your uh, dark light device any word that you possibly can. Anyway, this has a giant exclamation point, so let's enter.
Yep, it wouldn't be that easy if we could just had what we wanted. That is a new ghost. Oh, of course, a new portrait type ghost. That is Chambray, I believe. Of course, I'll have it on screen. Um, a little annotation on screen. Uh, just kind of saying what her name actually is. I know her name's like that. I just don't know exactly if it, that is what it is. Yeah. We can open this and nothing besides a few dollar bills. Also, this is you guys' room, by the way. If you couldn't tell by the giant briefcase that she stole, that was the exact briefcase that we needed. Anyway, come over here. Oh, open the thing. Luigi, open the thing. Okay, I guess not. We're going to look through the telescope. Check out this view. It is so nice. I just, I like the area the map does. Oh, jeez. That is a very scary ghost. This is a gem goob. These guys are very exclusive enemies per floor. I believe, actually, I think they're pretty exclusive enemies. Anyway, upon defeating, they turn into a gem. They're quite literally a gem ghost. Very, very cool. Um, gem ghosts will typically kind of be in spots that you need to look through something. And they kind of pop out. Or just in case, um, they kind of just pop out of, of anywhere. Anyway, these guys, these are orange plants, I believe. They're essentially just plants that can just spit out a bunch of money if you shoot it with a straw ball. That's literally all they do. Of course, checking around with the dark light device. Oh, excuse me, E.G.A.D. My dark light device is still being activated. Hey, Luigi. Sorry, I was busy and just got back from to my desk. Did I miss anything important? What's the status on my briefcase? What a ghost maid took off with it? That won't do. No, that won't do at all. Just don't, don't just stand there. Get after her. And without anything else that we can do, we got to do just that. Let me take this giant uh, briefcase here and slam it. Money! Also, you can actually just. You can still look through the thing, of course. Just check out this really cool landscape. I know it looks pretty uh, uh, plain with colors, but I just like it how it's just so atmospheric and that you're just on this giant point in this hotel. I love that detail. Really, really, really good detail. I enjoy it very much. So, not much that we can do, except. Try to go out and we get bombarded by more maid goobs. Also, very weird. I find that anything dressed as a maid, I find very, very weird. Anyway, poor Luigi, he is getting surrounded. And I am not about just bursting them away. I like the fact that I can literally pick up all these ghosts, both these ghosts, and slam them into their friend. And I get a load of treasure. The more ghosts you have that you're able to slam, the more treasure that you will naturally get. Of course, because you're slamming everything into the ground. Which I find really enjoyable. Um, of course, you get more treasure. We have 4,000 treasure now. We have over 4,000 treasure. Jeez, we're just swimming in cash right now. And I like that very, very much. Anyway, um, a really cool tip that you can do. Check with your dark light device. Most often than not, you will actually see where she goes. So come through here. Because we're going to need to check out all the places that we need. And shoot the suction cup at her. And then pull her. And then slam her to the ground. Of course, you can't get off another one. No, you can't. Okay. I was kind of hoping that you could do that. It seems like you can if you're fast enough. I'm not too sure. But if you can do that, definitely post a video response. Because I would definitely like to see that. Or just kind of tag me on Twitter um, with a clip of it. Um, with just the, with my username at StormyIrisHD. And just show me a clip of you actually being able to do more damage on her. I don't know if you can actually do it. But if you can, that'd be really cool. And you see this flat... A very flat and smooth surface, you can't do it, anything with it. But anyway, come back here, and you get a nice load of treasure. Um, kind of. You get you get a nice load of treasure, I even suppose. Anyway, you pull this back, pull on this, and more EGA technology. And that's kind of like, hey, what does the dot to do? And what does that do? It makes a whole lot of treasure come out. Really, really nice. I just love that. I love the fact that exploring in this game is rewarding. You know what, it, there's another game that I like to praise for doing this feature as well. That is Super Mario Odyssey. Super Mario Odyssey rewards you for exploration. Actually, just a lot of big Nintendo three, uh, big Nintendo titles do that, and I enjoy it so much. But anyway, that's not the point I'm trying to get across here. Uh, besides being able to explore a lot of really good regions and getting really cool rewards for doing just that. Anyway, let's head off to the next room, and e guy just so needs to call me again just to tell me that I'm slacking off. By the way, Luigi, there's a here's a fun bit of trivia for you. 
Every time you go through a door, all your progress will up to that point will be saved automatically. But it might not be it might not be if you move too quickly from door to door to door to door. You get the idea. I hate say waiting I say waiting dead seconds should be enough. You know what they say, patience is a virtue. Keep up the good work. And yeah, that is actually the only way you can save data in this game, is just walking through a door. Quite literally, that is all it is. Anyway, come in here and there she is. The maid? There again? Ow, she actually she actually hit me. I don't like that you hit me. Slam you into the ground! Can I hit her? Come on, come on! Oh, oh, you can do it! You can do it! You can do it! You can do it! Okay, that kind of just goes to show that you can do it. Okay, I feel reassured now that you can do it, but it's going to be basically useless because we're going to be getting her on our next go. Kind of sucks that I kind of figured that out now, but here's a little optional goop. And he's just sitting here. He's not really doing much. He's just minding his own business. Of course, Luigi is the ruiner of good days. So, what you saw there, I took damage. You generally do a even amount of damage. Uh, being like 5, you, do, you can do take 10, or you can take 20. That is basically it. I believe there are some instances where it does a ton more damage than you actually would think. But I like the fact that you... It's a little nice little detail. You can turn your shower on. It doesn't do anything. doesn't give you anything. I just like that little detail. Also... What I tried to point out earlier is if you use a dark light device, you can actually see where she went. And she went over to the next room. Also, this ball is floating there. Um, a really cool, funny little thing that you can have happen. If you just goof around for a bit, you can actually have e guy yell at you and tell you to hurry up and that you shouldn't be slacking around because there's too much more important things that you should be doing. I like that little touch, uh, but you can do that. And the maid is going to run away again, but we do more than just bust up some ghosts. And that is it. And we literally, quite literally, knocked the briefcase out of her. And? That is it. All said and done. And she didn't have an elevator button. But we did get this really cool briefcase, nonetheless. Oh, wait, she did have an elevator button. I just forget that it doesn't pop out really coolly like it did before. She did have an elevator button. And Luigi is just so happy that he did that, but... Oh, wow. What? Hey, it seems like you've also required a new elevator button, along with my briefcase. Well done, Luigi, come back to the lab. Anyway, really cool. That's all that you can really do right now. Of course, from being that, but... I don't think so. Because you can't open this naturally. What do you do? Y'all bust it open. Anyway. Ow. Spiders. There's a ton of them. Don't let them surround you. Because they will just... They kind of torture Luigi in this game. It's kind of brutal. But anyway. Can I just do anything else? Just kind of flash anything else? Nothing else seems to be here. So I think I got them all. Really nice. Really well done. Go me. But anyway, you can see here that there is another painting with a lot of gold in it. So make sure you'll be sure to collect it. Anyway, just kind of suck up all these things here. Um, that is about it. So, that is all said and done. So, we're gonna head back to the lab. Because, why else, what else would we do besides just doing that? Anyway, come out here. And, you get some optional ghost fight! You get a nice optional boss fight! Or not really optional boss fight, but you get a really nice cool, uh, fight with ghosts nonetheless. Get both of them on the suction. Slam them down, slam them down, slam them down. He's done. Kind of do that. Flash him. Take him out. Take him. Take him. Take him. And done. And for doing that, well, you kind of just cleared up this room. Really nice. There's really no essential reward for you for just doing this. But it is a nice little cool little detail nonetheless. Also here, you can see that there is a storm drain there. It is for something that we literally can't do at this exact moment. But that moment is fast approaching. So we come back through here. There's not much else left for us to do besides head to the lab, but I do like uh, checking things just for extra stuff. And of course, Luigi's gonna get his little sneeze out because he's just that awesome. Maybe we can't open that. Um, you can tell that there's other guests here. Um, be my idea for these are toads. I wouldn't think of anything else that those um that would come from that besides the toads being there. Um. 
if it's something else there. Also, Luigi gets jump scared for whatever reason. I don't exactly know why. He just gets spooked. Oh, wait, I know why. Because it's a telephone. And something laughs at you and mocks you. I mean, let's go. Send back to the lab. I just wanted to show that off. Anyway, come through here. And come back in through here. Kind of sit here and wait to be able to do this. And let's put in our new button. Floor number three. Oh, yeah. In oh, jeez. Excuse me. I actually kind of burped while trying to talk there. Luigi, it looks like you're able to get to floor number three now. But before you head there, bring my briefcase, briefcase back to the lab. I need it. And he will not let you go anywhere. You need to go back to the lab. So, while we're kind of just sitting here waiting to go uh, back to the lab, I suppose I should talk about a few things. The beginning tutorial area for this game, I think, is quite long. Um, you can kind of typically see this kind of things from a uh, Mario RPG and or just an RPG in general uh, Mario and Luigi games do definitely heavily uh, go based on this topic of the fact that you need to um, Heavily focus on an RPG tutorial aspect of a game. I Just I don't know how I feel about it because like I feel like it shouldn't have been added I mean, I understand it's kind of getting you familiar and it's also getting your essential tools to complete the game Honestly, after you can get through the first hour of this game, it goes basically pretty smoothly. Welcome back, Luigi. My briefcase, chop chop. And Luigi just kind of just pulls this thing out of his back pocket. There he goes. Also, it is nice and sparkly and shiny. Ha ha ha. This, this is what I wanted. The time has come to use it in battle. I too old to be out catching ghosts by myself. Rather than give up on my ghostly pursuits, I thought I'd create a helper to take my place. The latest adventure from the brilliant mind of Professor Egad. I give you Gooigi. The development process was a real challenge, to say the least. Fortunately, I had a little help from someone to test the prototype. Hmm, how's this gonna help? Now, now, take it easy. Here, Luigi, I'm gonna attach this to the Poltergeist G00. Turn around for me, would you? He references the fact that Luigi's Mansion 3DS is canon. Yes, it is an official entry point in the series. I just... I don't know how to feel about that. Okay, it's all set up. Luigi, let's practice a bit. Follow me outside. Yes, I find it a little weird considering that the fact that it does make the fact that Luigi's Mansion 3DS remake is an actual canon point in the series. Anyway, he is gonna do his dirty like this. And poor Luigi, look how sad he is. I just, I feel so bad for him. I just, oh, the poor guy. Hey, 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 I've caught you in my trap, Luigi. Oh, don't worry, I'm just kidding. But I am gonna need you to stay locked up. Why you ask me so much, you use Gooigi to try to escape from your cell. You can activate Gooigi with uh, pressing the R button, uh, the R analog stick button. To recall him back to his tank, press R twice. Without further ado, let's introduce you to the weirdest character in the Mario series. Gooigi! Ta-da! Behold! This is your very own personal assistant, Gooigi. Gooigi can slip through tight spaces like gates or vents. His body is incredibly soft and malleable. It's really quite amazing. Go on and see for yourself. And what he says here is true. You can slip right through the bars. There you go. He moves in basically the same way you do, same ways you do, but so control him shouldn't take that much take much getting used to. Oh, and that reminds me, pressing R once go while, while Gooigi is active will let you switch between him and yourself. Remember that. This is essential for creating certain puzzles in the game. But what do we do best? We kind of just run around here and just go to activate this. And E-Guy doesn't like that we did that. Luigi, there's something I'd like you to, for you to try out. Why go with you directly to me? I know it seems like a silly request, but, but humor me, alright? Follow my directions exactly. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, we're gonna do what he wants us to do. This is an essential game plan or game point in the game. This is an exact point. He laughs at us for being stupid. No, not really. Hey, hey, hey Guigi isn't remotely waterproof, Luigi. If he gets wet at all, he'll melt and disappear. 
Be careful with him and it was around anything wet. And of course, we can just uh wait for him to be able to summon back summon him back. And here we go. And completely going around the same way as before. Now we can activate this. Also, we can actually suck on or kind of vacuum up Luigi or um Egad and let's call him back. Like I said before, you can switch between yourself and Luigi by pressing R. You can do it even while you're in the middle of another action. Try like using the Poltergeist G00. Zero zero. So yeah, this kind of shows that if you kind of react too easily or too quickly for Luigi and Luigi, you simply can't get out. So what you're supposed to do is blow on this, suck on this, switch back to Luigi, and make it out, and call him back. And of course, I can't just simply do that because it needs to show that both of you have a personality. <laughs> well done, Luigi. I feel like I let you learn roost with Gooigi. Alright, we're done with your training at least for now. Let's go back to the lab. And it doesn't make us walk. Nice work, Luigi. Very impressive, I must say. That reminds me of something I wanted to tell you. I've been running the sensors in the lab, and it reflects the presence of a mysterious building. In fact, it's the ominous looking tower is very close to this very hotel. Luigi, I know you really want to find all your missing friends, but if you want to take a break from that, you can head over to that tower. It's probably crawling with ghosts that you can catch. Come on and test your skills there, for science! I've made a ranger study so that you can access the tower from the lab, just like Scare Scripper and Multiplayer. Have fun! Oh wait, I just remembered something else. You can check out the screen park if you're feeling a little bit lonely and want to have some fun. Up to eight people can play and compete with one another. Fun, hehehe. <laughs> All right, you can get to a new floor now. Head to the elevator and take it to floor number three. And we'll do just that. But next time, next time on Luigi's Mansion 3, we are going to be heading up to the third floor, but not before we collect some other collectibles that I want to show. See you guys then.